Well, thanks for joining us. We have a very special guest doing a uh, very special activity, which uh, I must admit, I, I, I have a hard time seeing how anyone could do this. It's an incredible feat, really, in and of itself, but it's for a very good cause, too. Uh, we have a very special guest who is bicycling from Chicago to Los Angeles and doing this to raise awareness about breast cancer. And, of course, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in the United States. I really appreciate you coming by. Can I, uh, can I have you give us your name? Sure. My name is Iris, and I'm from Germany. Iris, i, I got to ask you, how did all of this come about? How is it that you're in Aurora, Missouri, riding your bicycle from Chicago to Los Angeles and, of course, uh, from Germany. Tell us how all this came about. Um, well, actually, we kind of lost track <laughs> today <laughs> a bit. Aurora wasn't on the... Uh <laughs> not not, not quite. Um, actually, I'm biking along Route 66 all the way from Chicago to L.A., like you just mm -hmm. mentioned. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, how did it start? I uh, lost a friend to breast cancer in 2009. Was she fairly fairly young? Or yeah, she would age? have turned forty this year. So actually, pretty young. Yeah. yeah, and and she just you know they didn't detect it early enough, so yeah. unfortunately yeah. she she didn't make it. So um, I was on vacation in the Pacific Northwest in uh, last year actually, mm -hmm. and uh, coincidentally I saw the On the Generous show and she kicked off Breast Cancer Awareness Month, yes. which I had no idea October was yeah. because it's not big in Germany at all, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I mean, and that just caught my attention, and I thought, you know, I would like to support that cause because, you know, I have a very close connection to that, obviously. Mm -hmm. So um, I started to figure out how I could do that, and then this idea just came up, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and mm -hmm. now I'm here, and I'm I'm loving every minute of it, and <laughs> it's, it's it's gorgeous, you know. It's I, how many people? And I know you have uh, you have a, a partner here with you, who's uh, of course filming this as we talk on the radio right and he's traveling along with you how many other people are involved is it just the two of you for the most part at, at least yeah in terms yeah. of being on the road right yeah I, I i do the biking and he's my escort car my roadie he does like you know laundry and mm -hmm. like carries the luggage and supports me like whatever i need mm -hmm. and if i have like a flat tire he would be there for me terrific um and then at night i'll edit like the videos and I transfer all the pictures to the website. I mm -hmm. try to keep it, you know, up to date every every night, which sometimes is kind of hard because I, on average I bike like 70 miles a day. Yeah. So that gets kind of exhausting, expe right. especially in the sun. Yeah. Um, but it's okay, you know, I've, I've prepared for that and like mentally I think it's, it's uh, I'm very well prepared for that. So We were talking off air, it's a little hotter here in the Ozarks than it usually is this time of year, but of course sure you're is. headed west, so... It's going to get well, hotter. Might as well get used <laughs> to the heat because it's going gonna, it's gonna to warm up. Right. Um, what is the website? Oh, the website is www.bikefortheCure, and it's for the number four. Okay. So bike for the number four, thecure.com. Dot com. Okay, right. bikefortheCure.com. So that's real easy to remember. Well, I, I would imagine that uh, you've had a lot of experience. Uh, are, do you, have you raced for a while or, or bicycles? Uh, or? Well, I've pretty much worked out all my life mm -hmm. i've studied sports in germany um mm -hmm. i majored in sports management and marketing mm -hmm. so um that's kind of my background I, I i like to you know try all kinds of sports but bike biking is definitely you know one of my favorites so it just you know mm -hmm. feels very natural to me for do that how many tires have you gone through so far? None yet, actually. Really? Just, ju just the two. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. That is incredible. I hope it stays that way. <laughs> now, when did, you, when did you start out? You left Chicago how many days ago? Uh, ten days ago, September 13th. September 13th. So, ten days, and you've made it here almost. Uh, I guess you're going to go into uh, well, probably Oklahoma and then into Texas and kind of headed correct. towards yeah. New Mexico and... Yeah, and what is so cool about this trip is that I will be having a fitness events at different gyms along the way. I already had three events, mm -hmm. uh, two in Chicago and one in Peoria. And mm -hmm. uh, there will be uh, another one in Ardmore, Oklahoma, in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico, in Amarillo, Texas. Oh, fantastic. And then finally, hopefully, in Beverly Hills. Yes. Fan when, when do you expect to arrive in uh, Los Angeles? October 26th. October so 26th. So about another month or so. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit over. So, well, that'll be fantastic. Well, now, do you have uh, do you have some, some groups or individuals that are kind of sponsoring you? Or are you raising some funds or mainly just trying to raise awareness well mainly trying to raise awareness of course mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um of course i tried to get some sponsors on board because mm -hmm. you know i have to finance right. this 
basically on right. my own, like the flights and the rental car and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, and I got lucky. I did find a bike sponsor, Batavus Bikes. They sponsored me. And what was so cool about th them, they they just gave it to me. They didn't, you know, ask for anything. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they didn't say, you know, you have to do this and that and that. They just said, you know, we're just going to support you. Have fun. So I, I yeah. really would like to plug them right now. Yeah. So Batavus Bikes. You got it. <laughs> That's terrific. Well, and I mean, this is obviously everyone, whether they're in this country or in Germany or just about anywhere in the world, I'm sure, for the most part, has been touched. Someone in your family or someone you know, unfortunately, for has, sure. had, has had for to deal sure. with cancer. And uh, I know we're getting closer and closer each day, and, and uh, the fight is is... We're starting to win, but still a long ways to go. Right, and I just basically felt that just because I am very fortunate, I'm very healthy, that mm -hmm. I am in a position that I can help, so I should help you know mm -hmm. people who aren't that fortunate. That's mm -hmm. basically uh, my my intention, and 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 pretty much my message is you know just take care of yourselves. I mean, yeah. cancer is of course my 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 focus, but mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Just just try to keep healthy and eat right and exercise mm -hmm. a bit, and you know it mm -hmm. helps you to keep away. You know, all sorts of diseases like cancer, yeah. diabetes, heart disease, what doesn't matter, you know, it's, it's all terrible. That's really, really important point. And, you know, we're getting a little better. We still have, I think, a lot of us in this country, a pretty bad diet, but we, in terms of too much fat and stuff. But, right. But cigarette smoking has declined quite a bit. There's not nearly as much of that. And I don't know if in Germany, if there's um, a lot of cigarette smoking. It's, it's, it's kind of gotten worse again. Has it? Yeah. Because I know when you're young, it's kind of fashionable. Yeah, and, it's cool, you know. You know you feel like grown up, but, yeah. But uh, boy, it's sure once you start, it's so hard to get off it. That's you right. Know, as yeah. you get older, so y you just need to s like turn on off the switch in your head, yeah. kind of, and you just <laughs> exactly. really want to do it. And and mm -hmm. and that's like how I feel about this project. I really, really want to do it. Right. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like it's not really a sacrifice for me. I I just you know I have it in my head like you know for like a year or so mm -hmm. that's so that really that's cool. great so now is all your family back back over in germany yes now? yes so are yes. they kind of keeping tabs on you i'm sure through the website right and, and right getting to talk to them a little bit yeah i mean while. i call them every once in a while yeah. but w with yeah. the website which is pretty much up to date every day they they kind of know where i am and <laughs> what i'm doing <laughs> well that and is of course i don't show them all you know, <laughs> everything I do. <laughs> that is really cool. Now, one more time, what's the website again? It's www.bikefortheCure, and it's the number four. Okay. And you can make donations right through the website. You know, there's a button, mm -hmm. and then you can just you know press the button and then well, that make is a donation. Fantastic. That is fantastic. Well, you're gonna you're gonna go through a lot of towns, and I know we'll be giving a, a lot of interviews and stuff. So I'm really uh, appreciative. Yeah, well, I think you will really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, kind of glad you, you found your way into our town today, and we could talk to you for a few minutes. Well, it's, thank uh, you so much for having me. And best of luck, and uh, again, www.bikefortheq.